Hey guys, so today is Tuesday, October 30th. And um, so I met with the bariatric surgeon. This is the first time I've seen her since surgery day, which was October 19th. And um, the appointment went okay. Um, her and the GYN doctor have spoke twice now about me and my case and she's still on the fence as far as um, doing both surgeries at the same time. So um, she said that she talked to him about getting the opinion of a surgical GYN oncologist and um, so that was the next step on his part. And then her and I talked about um, if we do the surgeries separate, we would do the GYN surgery first, wait two weeks, and then do the bariatric surgery. And she will still do the bypass, so that feels good. Um, when I told her that he wanted to remove it laparoscopically, she had a look of concern on her face um, because just of the size of the cyst, she didn't feel like that was something that could really be removed that way. Um, so that has her pretty concerned. So that has me concerned. <laughs> um, so she did say after we had this, you know, this talk um, at that point she said okay well I'm gonna call myself and speak to the oncologist um, and I've heard actually a lot of really good things about this oncologist so I'm glad she's kind of coming into the mix um, but I'm nervous as well so um, I don't really feel like it's cancer but now it's starting to set in like what ifs. And, um, you know, still having a lot of feelings and um, I'm scared, you know? So, um, so I don't necessarily feel great or like I got all my questions answered because we're still in limbo. And that's where we left it. She was gonna give the oncologist a call. Um, we did talk about, I, I am on a tight time frame because as I'm sitting here, my FMLA days are just ticking away. So that has me nervous. Um, Cause I don't wanna use up all my sick leave sitting here when I could be in surgery and be healing right now so that has me upset I did call and talk to the FMLA department at my work and they're super understanding um, she said just you know let just keep us updated pretty much and uh, so that makes me feel good so we did talk about the Morena, the IUD, and the reason she didn't want me on any birth control right now is because that increases the risk for blood clots. Um, the Morena has uh, hormones in it, so putting those hormones in at the time <clears throat> is going to increase my risk for blood clots when I have an IVC filter, which is good, but why cause more potential problems. So she would really like me to hold off on the Mirena for now. Um, and let's see. She was surprised at how red and bruised up my um, uh, my upper incision was. I'll show you guys how it's looking now. It's actually looking a lot better. Um, so she wants to use paper tape next time and um, see if that has a little bit better of a, you know, healing. So that's where it's at. 
I feel kind of blah. Um, I don't know if it's depression or I just feel like something's bothering me and it's hard to put a word on it or if, or a, an emotion on it. Um, I go to therapy in the morning, so I'm hoping I can talk it out. Um, I tried talking it out with my family, but you know, they have their opinions too and I feel like they don't really understand sometimes. Not all the time, just sometimes. Um, so, I'm trying to get excited that I'm going to be having gastric bypass, but until it happens, I don't believe it's going to happen. And I've been saying that for a long time. So, so right now I'm just going to take care of me and uh, the doctor said to stay on a, a high protein diet right now, um, but not to worry about protein shakes just yet. Um, and then once we <clears throat> have a surgery date on the books, then we'll start the protein shakes and, uh, and get ready. I still feel like it's not going to happen and I'm scared to get, I, that's what it is, is I'm scared to get excited because I was so excited last time and it fell through. So, <sighs> I'm sorry. This I feel like this video is so depressing. But at least I'm not crying. I started crying the minute I saw her, of course. But that was the first time I had seen her since surgery. And I know she cares about me a lot. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what the future holds and it's so hard. I talked a little bit about it on Facebook this morning, but I feel so many feelings, but I, I feel anger and it's like I want someone to blame or, or to blame myself or why did this happen to me? And then I asked, you know, what do I have to learn from this? and what have I learned already. So, um, I can't articulate that right now. It's just feelings, it's just not so hard to put into words. Um, so, just gonna keep going day by day, take care of myself. Um, my mom, bought um, passes to do um, water aerobics and she's only went two, two or three times but she has these little excuses as to why so I said well I'd like to go with you tomorrow um, the thing about it is the um, the bariatric surgery department uh, mentioned, and I don't know the exact reason, but they mentioned after surgery you can't do any sort of water aerobics or hot tubs uh, four to six weeks after surgery. And you guys might know why. I don't, I don't really know the reason, but so I've been wanting to do water exercise, but I didn't want to commit to that because I knew I was going to be having surgery. So I told her I'd like to go with her tomorrow. And there's another one on Friday might go over that one with her as well and then hopefully next week I'll I just want to be in surgery already and get it over with so anyway I'm looking forward to that and uh, I think I have a little bit of depression setting in I don't want it to set in but it's happening um, 
And for those of you that have had depression, you know it's not as easy as just saying, don't be depressed. Um, it's like a fog, you know, it's like a, it's hard to get excited about things or smile about things. So, um, anyway, so, uh, I guess that's it for now. And I hope that I will have some information um, in the next couple of days. I told her if you know if the if the oncologist wants to see me for a consultation, I'll go. My schedule is pretty much open right now, so I'm hoping that I get good news because I have heard a lot of good things about this oncologist and I really liked the GYN surgeon and he was really positive and my mom and my aunt were there and they both say you know but he was so great and so confident and and, and I said yes he is um, but what if what if that's not the way to go I just don't know now now I feel like there's doubts <laughs> doubts so <clears throat> I don't like the doubts so I almost feel like there's more doubts now than there were before so I've got a lot of thinking to do we'll see Oh, I wanted to show you guys my nails. Um, on Pinterest, they've been having an accent nail. So, my ring fingers are my accent nails. And I put little, I don't know if you can see that, little roses on them. And uh, it's these two colors here that I've been playing with. Nail polish, the only thing that can make me smile, all right? So, anyway, guys, thanks for listening. Things will get better. It's just one of those times. So, I'll, I'm going to end it now. <laughs> okay, bye.